Let's move on to 6E. This is an addendum to the evidence based associate service agreement. Mr. Ty. Good morning. Good morning. When we originally brought for you the uh, service agreement with evidence based associates to implement the uh, diversionary programs for the juvenile justice grant that we were awarded, um, the RFP that the state put out, the, the numbers they got were based on a 12 month implementation period. Because this is the first year we were doing this, um, there's act we're actually only going to have use in the program and be implementing the programs for nine months. So when the final documents came out, um, the, there was one requirement that um, that the state was going to require us to have a 75% completion rate for the program. They've since reduced that to only require a 60% completion rate and the original um, reduction in the number of felony commitments and the number of confinements, basically the number of youth that are, are detained, was originally uh, slated to be 20% and has been reduced to 15%. So um, in order to kind of kind of be fair to evidence-based associates, um, and not trying to hold them to a higher standard than we're being held to, they requested that we just sign this addendum that reflects the fact that um, those two percentages have been changed, and that will be reflected in, in our agreement at that time. So, if you have any questions about that, be glad to. Any questions for Mr. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, I had a, just a question uh, regarding the, the, the reduction amount. Um, are, are they, do they have any plans to uh, undergo another selection process of the subcontracting agencies then? Because this could very well affect how much the other agencies would have uh, brought to the table. Um, well, the, no, no, sir. There's well for two reasons. Number one, we don't really have time. We wouldn't have time to implement the program. But the the percentages, um, you know, it, it's not really about what they're bringing. It's about the number of kids you can run through in a nine month period. Um, so if you, if you if we would have been able to have these pro because each program is like a ten week ten week program. Well, you, you can only have so many 10 week programs in a nine month period. If we had a full 12 months, we'd have an extra program and you'd expect that extra 5% to come out. So it really doesn't have anything. I don't, I don't believe that um, the reduction in percentages, you know, I don't think anything would change as far as who, um, who would have been awarded the, awarded the contract. These, these percentages really didn't, uh, that wasn't kind of the, I guess I'm asking a question because I guess when the, when the initial amount came back from 500 to 200,000, mm -hmm. uh, that made a big difference in, in who all could compete. Also, uh, if you're a small organization, you're not able to compete as as, as would a large organization. And, and now that we we're going to make that adjustment for the new changes, it may perhaps if the organization were the other organizations were larger, or uh, had these current uh, <coughs> standards, going to say. It might have been in a different way. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And we can, we'll do whatever the board decides, but um, I would say that if we were to go back and, and um, well, we, we can't, I can't say we, we, we do not, under the terms of the agreement, the state does not allow us to go back because we would, we would be in violation of our agreement with the state because we wouldn't be able to implement the programs in the timeline they outlined. Uh, I, I do understand what you're saying, but we, yeah. So that's kind of where your option comes in. You can, um, if you choose, you can just reject the addendum and tell EBA that we're going to continue to hold them to the original agreement. Yeah, I, I think the question is is whether or not you accept the addendum or not. We're current. We have a contract with the, with these folks, and so they just have requested an addendum based on a changing in the number, the time. Right. And. Uh, so that everybody basically agrees with that, and I, I think the issue is just the event. Yeah, I didn't try. We was an answer to not can you compete, and I think they're more or less looking at not the time stamp of the service that can be provided That's for right. kids to be able to participate in the service. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? 